Hello, people of God. It's Pastor Stephen, and I'm in what we call the workroom. And we have Paul here, and Barry, and Bob, and they are labeling our offering envelopes. You can see we have lots of them right there. They're hard at work, and their spouses are some of their spouses are out in the library, and they are organizing them alphabetically so that when people come by on Sunday, they can pick them up. When our consistory members come for their meeting on Wednesday, they can pick some up. And we're getting ready for our annual meeting. That will be on, let's see, I think that's November 22nd. And just today, I guess I can take this off now. Um, just today, Marlene Davey finished up, in fact, I finished up a little bit of my edits, our annual report. And those will be available for people that can come by to pick them up. And we will also be sending them out by PDF or by email. We'll send PDF. It's a portable document format. And we've sent some other things like that. In fact, that's how we portray our, um, our bulletins that we make available for people that join in the virtual worship. That way they can pick them up, they can print them, or they can just see them on the screen. And uh, I didn't even begin with my normal... <laughs> Uh, introduction. I think I said Pastor Stephen, but I'm at St. Paul's United Church of Christ in Amityville, and it is Monday, November 2nd, the day before Election Day, and it is, uh, I guess I said everything I need to say. So because it's Election Day, that is definitely on everybody's mind. I'm walking over this way because right behind me is the Amity Township building. That's where my wife and I will be voting tomorrow. In fact, for the first time, we'll be voting with our daughter. She did have her first time of voting, uh, I don't know when it was, but when she was at school, and now she'll be voting here, so we're glad that she's joining us. And uh, we'll have confirmands being confirmed. They'll confirm their baptism, and they will affirm their faith in Christ, and they will become full members of the church this coming Sunday. And you saw them a week and a day ago as they led worship. That would be Ella, Glenn, and Alexa. I'm very proud of them. Let's see. I told you our annual report's about to come out. We'll be emailing it to people. It's a windy day, isn't it? I don't know if you can see over at the Parsonage. They've been doing some work, or at least it started on Saturday on Halloween. Uh, it took out all the bushes and trees that are in front of there, and they're... We're working on getting a little better uh, slope away from the parsonage because we've had some drainage issues, but I guess I don't need to say anything more about that. I'm trying to find a place where it's not too, too windy. Um, our scripture today is part of one that I'll be preaching on this Sunday from Joshua, Joshua 24, where Joshua says, Now fear the Lord and serve him with all faithfulness. Throw away the gods of your ancestors that they worship beyond the Euphrates River and in Egypt and serve the Lord. I find that just amazing that after all that we've talked about in Exodus, they still have to be told, throw away those gods. Stop trying to worship silly, wrong gods. And uh, time of election is the time for us to remember that we have no Lord but Jesus. He is our real God. And no matter what, there are going to be some people unhappy tomorrow, and I pray for generosity and graciousness for everyone toward everyone, no matter what happens tomorrow. In fact, our prayer today is exactly the one that I prayed yesterday in worship. Would you join me in prayer? O oh, most gracious Father, though we know our ultimate identity is as your children and as citizens of your heavenly kingdom, we also live in this world and are citizens of this nation. As election day comes, and your citizens cast votes reflecting their hope and vision for this country. We pray for your grace. Help us to find common ground. Help us to find unity in the midst of very different political ideas. Help us to live by your kingdom principles, respecting and valuing the meek, the poor in spirit, and the peacemakers. May our actions reflect our knowledge that you alone are our Lord and King. Amen. And our song is one that we will also sing as our opening hymn this coming Sunday as the confirmands affirm their faith. Um, living for Jesus, a life that is true. 
striving to please him in all that I do, yielding allegiance, glad-hearted and free. This is the pathway of blessing for me. I never know the interval of that part. Now here comes the refrain. O oh, Jesus, Lord and Savior, I give myself to thee. For thou in thine atonement did give thy life for me. I owe no other master, my heart shall be thy throne. My life I give henceforth to live, O oh, Christ for thee alone. And we do live for Jesus, brothers and sisters. Make Jesus the center of your attention, no matter whatever else your political leanings are, and may God bless us all. And may God bless America.